Hey there! Welcome and welcome back to Munchkin Place RimWorld To begin our journey in RimWorld, we'll first create a new colony For beginners, it's recommended to start with Crash Landed, however, I will start with Lost Tribe I will try Poby as my Storyteller, Medium, and Reload anytime So I will just randomize the seed, leave the coverage to 30% and all the other options to default after generating a world, we will choose a suitable location based on the planet size and other environmental factors. It's time to choose the colonists who will join our settlement. Each colonist has unique skills, traits, and backgrounds that will shape the future of our colony. We will also change the food restrictions and medicine needs for each colonies. RimWorld is about managing a group of colonies and ensuring their survival in a harsh environment, so we will choose suitable weapons for each member. Animals can be trained for various tasks such as hauling items on animal tabs. If you toggle fertility overlay, you can see which soil parts are good for farming. I'm gonna create sounding plan too. It's time to create a growing zone for our farming. You can find it on zone menu and we'll choose what plants we want to grow in our colony. One crucial aspect of the game is the creation and management of stockpile zones. Stockpile zones are designated areas where your colonists can store and organize resources such as food, medicines, raw materials, weapons, and more. You can adjust the size of the zone and choose which resources to put on designated zones. Next is building a butcher table for butchering animals, mechanoids, and even humans. We will also build a research table for colonies to advance their knowledge and unlock new technologies and furnitures. Let's deconstruct these walls, we'll harvest the berries for foods, and reinstall the stables for our house. Now let's assign tasks to our colonies. On the work tab, we will find a list of work types such as cooking, construction, and set priorities for each colonies. We will assign areas for our animals to ensure they stay within designated area and won't be on our colonies' way. To protect our resources, especially foods, we will build a wall, wooden wall for now. We will change it later for better protection as wooden walls are prone to fire. You can also force to prioritize tasks for colonies, but when they're sleeping at night and you wake them up, their mood level will go down. Now our research table is complete, first we can start researching stone cutting. We'll hold these stones for later. We can trade resources with visitors that have question marks on them. One eternity later. We finally have walls. As I mentioned earlier, colonies mood level can go down and they will be in a psychotic state. Now we can harvest our rice plants and have foods for our colonies. We also finished researching and build our stone cutting table. We can now make granite blocks and change our wooden walls to granite walls. It's for better protection. It's time for another research. This time, complex furniture research to build wooden beds. To make our bedroom floors better, we'll change it to slate tiles. Better surroundings will make our colonies mood better.
We will also build wooden floors for our house so it will also look better. Someone joined our colony. Now we're six. And of course, there will be raids and attacks, but luckily we have friendly visitors to handle it for now. Let's haul our enemy's remains. We'll butcher it on our butcher table and store it for our pet foods. Sometimes our colonists can even consume it too. Just turn our enemies into tonight's dinner. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this.